Indeed, indeed, there's a frenzy of speculation about inward investment coming from China to the United Kingdom. Uh, the policy that the Chinese government has adopted is a very sophisticated one, one belt, one road, and it's going to bring a lot of investment, direct investment, towards infrastructure, towards construction, towards uh, energy, and also utility sector in the United Kingdom and also in Europe. All right, you're partially referring to this northern powerhouse project. It's a new term that I think a lot of us are not aware of. What is it and why is it important? The Northern Powerhouse is a project that the United Kingdom government has just established and they want to create a system, an environment, an ecosystem in business that will drive productivity upwards, they will bring inward investment and they will create the right environment to position the United Kingdom ready for growth for the 21st century. At the moment, the United Kingdom has two uh, speed, the South London and the South economy. It's uh, driving very fast and very productively, whereas the rest of the United Kingdom is lagging behind. So they utilize the Northern Powerhouse as the strategic lever to promote inward investment, to bring strategic investors and create the much needed productivity gains uh, for the country. The, uh, the AIIB, and this has been quite notable among at least Western countries, is that UK was one of the first uh, to jump in to the, uh, this investment bank, uh, being essentially led by China. Other Western countries basically, uh, well, for lack of a better word, were a bit more hesitant about it. Uh, what makes the UK relationship special? It's a very strategic decision on the part of the United Kingdom government to engage with the bank, to engage with infrastructure investment, long-term public-private partnerships, and the ability to have income coming from different parts of the world as part of an asset holder in uh, the United Kingdom. It's also very credible for the European Union. United Kingdom plays a major role in the European Union, and their positioning with the investment bank, the, 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 it will create the most notable example for uh, shaping the financial structure of the world. Ironically, that, that bank is focused on infrastructure. In the United Kingdom, you also have your in infrastructure projects as well, notably high-speed rail. China is playing a role in that. Do you see that role increasing down the road? Absolutely, absolutely. I see that all of the Chinese investment uh, increasingly as we speak. The reason for that is because we need investment here in the United Kingdom. We need credible investment and also we need investment in the right areas of infrastructure. Transport, high speed rail transport is one. Energy and the announcement concerning nuclear reactors, the, the construction and the uh, functioning of nuclear energy provision in the United Kingdom is also another notable example. If I was a citizen of the United Kingdom, I would ask the question, okay, that's great. We have foreign investors investing money in our homeland. Where are the, the local investors and why not tap them? What's the benefit of having foreign investors? Uh, the foreign investment will create the necessary momentum for export again. We need to create competitive advantage. We need to move as soon as possible into a new sphere that the investment, the inward investment is going to link with the export, the export of a commodity, the export of a service. It's a very strategic way to use investment and exporting. The same way, parallel way that uh, the Chinese government uses the exact uh, tech, uh, system and strategy to penetrate the uh, European Union and also the United States. Which side uh, do you think, honestly, stands to uh, gain most from this relationship? Mostly the Chinese side, because they will bring a lot of uh, investment, but also they take a lot of know-how. This is part, not a compliment, but this is reality. The Chinese system, uh, the, the system that they have in place at the moment, inward investment and also exporting, allows for transfer of technology for a number of different projects and different industries, from construction to nuclear energy, from pharmaceuticals into financial services. And they will benefit by having that direct link of transferring the technology into uh, China.